Disorders of Branch Chain Amino Acids, Maple Syrup Urine Disease Introduction The branch chain amino acids, leucine, isoleucine, and valine, are essential amino acids with hydrophobic side chains and are important precursors for gluconeogenesis, energy production, and synthesis of fatty acids and cholesterol. Maple syrup urine disease, MSUD, also known as branch chain ketoacidoria, is a disorder affecting the allophactic or branch chain amino acids. It's caused by deficiency of branch chain alpha ketoacid dehydrogenase complex, BCKDC, the second enzyme of the metabolic pathway of the three branch chain amino acids, leucine, isoleucine, and valine. The mode of inheritance is autosomal recessive. Pathophysiology In the first step of branch chain metabolism, branch chain amino acids are converted by cytosolic and mitochondrial branch chain aminotransferases, BCATs, to their respective alpha keto acids. The alpha keto acids are subsequently decarboxylated by the branch chain keto acid dehydrogenase complex, BCKDC, to yield isoveral coenzyme A, COA, alpha methylbutyryl coenzyme A, and isobutyryl coenzyme A, respectively, which eventually result in acetyl coenzyme A, acetoacetate, and succinyl coenzyme A. The BCKDC is situated on the inner mitochondrial membrane and consists of three catalytic components, E1, E2, and E3. Mutations in E1, E2, or E3 cause maple syrup urine disease. No clear genotype-phenotype correlation between molecular and clinical phenotypes is known, with the exemption of mutations in E2, which cause thiamine-responsive maple syrup urine disease. Mutations in E3 cause additional deficiencies of pyruvate and alpha-ketoglutarate dehydrogenases. The BCKDC also is associated with two regulatory enzymes, BCKDC phosphatase and BCKDC kinase. These control the activity of the BCKDC by reversible phosphorylation and dephosphorylation. Increased activity of BCKDC in maple syrup urine disease results in elevation of plasma concentrations of the branch chain amino acids and corresponding keto acids. A metabolite of isoleucine causes the urine to smell like maple syrup. Elevated plasma leucine levels interfere with the transport of large neutral amino acids across the blood-brain barrier, leading to their relative deficiency of the central nervous system and reduced neural transmitter synthesis including dopamine and serotonin. Clinical Manifestations There are five distinct clinical phenotypes of maple syrup urine disease. Classic, intermittent, intermediate, thiamine responsive, and E3 deficient. Classic MSUD is the most common form of the disorder. Accumulation of plasma leucine causes neurological symptoms. Leucine is rapidly transported across the blood-brain barrier and is metabolized to presumably yield glutamate and glutamine. Infants with this disease seem healthy at birth, but if left untreated, suffer severe brain damage, mental retardation, and eventually die. From early infancy, symptoms of the condition include poor feeding, vomiting, dehydration, lethargy, muscular hypotonia and or hypotonia, dystonia, seizures, ketoacidosis, coma, and neurological decline. Diagnosis Newborn screening Classic maple syrup urine disease in newborn infants is readily detected only by screening using tandem mass spectrometry. If the diagnosis is made in the first week of life and a diet low in branch chain amino acids is started, normal development is possible. Failure to initiate such measures results in serious consequences. Severe neurological lesions develop, with death occurring in a few weeks or months. Management Management of maple syrup urine disease has two primary aspects, dietary therapy to promote normal growth and development, and aggressive treatment of episodes of acute metabolic decompensation. The goal of dietary therapy is to achieve normal plasma concentrations of branch chain amino acids. Dietary restriction is maintained throughout life. Episodes of metabolic decompensation must be treated aggressively. 
Plasma and tissue concentrations of leucine should be lowered rapidly by inhibition of protein catabolism and enhancement of protein synthesis.